Corey and I are taking you along on our week-long trip in Rome. We will be sharing bits of our honeymoon trip, a few tips for visiting Rome, and our favorite things we did and ate. We'll even share where we stayed and why we absolutely loved the neighborhood that we stayed in. We are fresh out of the taxi. That's our taxi right there. Ready for a break. Ready for a break. It's been a long day of travel. Very, uh adventurous taxi ride <laughs> yeah if you ever want a race car driver neither of us expected the taxi ride to be as terrifying as it was but apparently that's the norm in rome we just got to our airbnb here in rome and we're exhausted we need to clean up take a shower but i wanted to show you the airbnb before we completely destroy it it is a lot smaller than it looked in the pictures but we, we got a really nice location. We decided to stay here because of the location. And I just want to show you, it's really cute and quaint, but it is like small, especially the doorway. I almost hit my head. Okay. Here's our little kitchenette area. And the uh, bathroom. There are even books. This is the bedroom. No, you can be in it. And then there's this little outdoor patio area with table and chairs you can set up. And that's it. This is our honeymoon suite, but that doorway, it it's like I hit my head. It's really short, that's kind of funny, but. I love it. We're gonna stay up to try and jump into the sleep schedule here tonight and at least stay up till eight o'clock, that's our goal. So we're gonna go and get some food, walk around this area. We're in a really cute area of Rome called Trastevere or something like that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But there's a lot of cute little shops and things right outside our door. So we're getting ready to go do that tonight for our first night in Rome, first night of our honeymoon. Wanna come say hi to our future selves watching this video? Our first night oh, of our hi. <laughs> our first night of our honeymoon. What do you want to eat tonight? Pizza. You want pizza? <laughs> Why wait? Let's get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. Are you yeah. looking at places, or are we just gonna walk out the door and see what we find? Let's uh, go for a walk and whatever we feel like stopping. Okay. I know there's like four places. The Trastevere neighborhood has great restaurants, bars, street music every night in one of the squares. Even our taxi driver, when he dropped us off, he told us we were staying in the best place at the heart of Rome. It kind of feels like quintessential, beautiful Rome. Everyone's walking, very few cars drive on these roads, it's all cobblestone, people are hanging out, and there's art everywhere. The neighborhood made me wish that I brought my camera to take photos. Just walking the streets today in Rome, just roaming. <laughs> just kind of hanging out, walking around. We don't have any tours planned today. Tiramisu. Oh yeah, we had tiramisu. We had lunch. Just kind of shopping. We're on like a busy, in a busy area with lots of little stuff set up in the streets. So we're just hanging out and checking things out. We're right next to a basilica. A church, but you can't get into this one, so we were just peeking in. Corey's about to go try the water fountain, right? Try some Roman water. Rate right, the water experience. Ooh. Refreshing. <laughs> get a face full. You've got some on your glasses. Yep. Even though we didn't have anything planned for this day, we ended up doing a lot. 
We wandered the city to kind of gain our bearings and to check out the little shops. We got some souvenirs, visited a few churches. We took a little break back at the Airbnb in the middle of the day. We sat and played this card game that we brought from home, a Monopoly card game. <laughs> it's so little. Try to walk through it. You have to duck. <laughs> Later on, we would head toward the Pantheon just to check it out from the outside and to head into a different neighborhood. How is it? It's like liver. That one's liver? It's uh, definitely good. <laughs> When we walked up to the Pantheon, we came from behind and saw the backside of the building and all of the old little broken pieces. The Pantheon was a lot, lot, lot bigger than I expected, which was kind of cool, but it really just kind of was a big round building from the outside. We were gonna go in, but you had to have tickets. So we would come back at a later date and try to get in with tickets on a different day. Corey booked our tickets for the Colosseum, the Vatican City tour, and for another tour of catacombs and crypts ahead of time. I would say that's probably the best thing we did was anything we really wanted to see, we booked tickets ahead of time so we didn't have to wait in line and figure it out day of. We're doing a walking tour through the Vatican City. That's gonna be like three hours. I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore yesterday. I actually bought this here yesterday um, because there are rules, strict rules about what you can wear in the Vatican City and most of my clothes don't fit the rules. And Corey and I are gonna match. <laughs> are you ready for the Vatican? Ready to explore. Let's go. <laughs> That's a church. I think there's a church in here too. We're really close to the Vatican. So this is the off season, eh? <laughs> <laughs> there is no off season in Rome. Corey found and booked a walking tour through the Vatican City that is three hours long and we really enjoyed it. But even with three hours of walking around the Vatican City, you could barely scratch the surface of what the Vatican City has to offer. There are 26 museums, there are galleries, there are ancient architectural things you could check out, there are gardens, there's shopping, there's food. There's so much that you could do that it could be a multi-day adventure just to really absorb the Vatican City. We did the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica and um, a few of the different galleries. And that was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot just doing that. So it ended up being a really full day. So today the basilica is divided in three different flavors. When you see all the decoration, everything is made in marble, baroque style. They finish all in 1652. The last artist to work inside the basilica was... I want to rent bikes and bike this path one of the mm. days. We could maybe do that. I want to do that.
This is the least busy area of Rome. On our way back from the Vatican City, we walked along the River Tiber. It was beautiful, the trees hang over the sides of the walls, and it inspired me to want to spend some time on this little path and do some biking or scootering. We also stopped at a few shops on the way back and ended up with a few souvenirs. Corey and I slept in this morning and now we're just out roaming around today. We have just been walking around and there were steps and roads that kept just going up in elevation and now we're here kind of in this courtyard by this church and what I think is a Spanish school at the top of this overlook kind of area. We're just up high in elevation and it's really cool. He just had his phone out and found some ruins nearby, so we're gonna go try and find them. Are you leading the way? Or we just meander and hopefully find it. <laughs> Should be in that, that direction. Way? Okay. Yeah. Over there. Something I didn't expect about Rome, I guess I kind of expected, but I didn't realize how serious it was, is that people here dress very, very modestly. Everybody's in pants and sleeves, and for the most part, dressed a lot more conservatively than what we're used to. And like all the men are wearing pants and even like long sleeves. Yeah, slacks, not pants. Yeah, nice pants. Dressed pants. Dressed up and covered up and it's hot. It is very warm right now. We found the entrance. We have been walking around this place trying to find the way to get in. There's supposed to be ruins in here, but even without the ruins, it just looks like a beautiful place. A little more nature than all the uh, cobblestone and yeah. massive walls and buildings. Yeah. Found our, our nature sanctuary. zone. Full nature sanctuary. Yeah, I maybe do want to drink. Like our water at home. Hmm. <laughs> what, it feels like. what do you mean by that? We found an even better overlook at this place and it's honestly breathtaking and you can see like rain probably off in the distance and the mountains so this place that we're at right now is like a botanical garden old ruins and an overlook area this is called via siaria via siara i will put the name here so you know what i'm talking about but it is absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend coming here. We kind of just stumbled across it. Corey was looking at things to do when we were at the other overlook and this was nearby and it's just really pretty. I don't, I mean, I don't even think I could count the number of church steeples you can see from here and just cool buildings in general. And the mountains in the background and yeah, the planes mountains. coming in. Probably it's rain clouds.
unfortunately we really weren't able to see the ruins that well at this location they were all behind fences and it looked like they were maybe doing some excavating or archaeological work here so we couldn't check it out but the park was still worth the visit and i would recommend it if you're in the area Day five was the day we went to the Colosseum. We walked along the river into the area where the Colosseum was. Corey booked an underground tour, which was kind of like an all inclusive tour pass to the Colosseum and the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill. There are little kind of mini museum things at the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill. Entrance into those things was included in the tour that Corey booked, and we were able to see a lot. However, I would recommend doing the Colosseum one day and the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill a separate day because it was a lot. And maybe it would have been better if we would have maybe biked to or taken a taxi to the Colosseum, but we walked a lot. And this ended up being a really long but rewarding and beautiful day. We are on our way to the Coliseum. And the neighborhood that we're in on the way to the Coliseum right now feels old but urban. Which is different than the other neighborhoods we've been in so far. The one by the Pantheon felt urban. And the neighborhood we're staying in feels old. But this somehow feels old and urban at the same time. There are cool old buildings. Not super old, maybe, I don't know, but it feels like cobblestone-y, but still a lot of people and a lot of cars. We made it! But we're early, so we're gonna go find a snack over there and then come back for our tour. The only way that you can tour the basement or the beneath the floor of the Colosseum is to book a tour to go underground. So Corey booked that so we could go and see where they would have kept animals, where they would have had the gladiators stay and um, the elevators to bring people up to the floor. I think that was definitely worth booking. We just finished the Colosseum tour and now we're at the Palat- no, we're at the Roman Forum. The Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum are right next to each other. We did not book a tour guide for the Roman Forum or the Palatine Hill, and we didn't do a lot of research ahead of time, but what we gained from visiting was an appreciation for a lot of the old buildings in the old market square. So the Roman Forum was like the downtown of ancient Rome, and was a big marketplace and then Palatine Hill was right next door and that's where like the very wealthy people lived and there were palaces and there's a lot of history here. On day six, we spent the first half of the day doing a tour of the crypts and catacombs. This was way cooler than I expected. I especially liked visiting the crypts. I think if you search the Capuchin crypts of Rome, you can read a little bit more about it. Um, it was a day kind of talking about death, but not just the horror and sadness of death, but like the beauty and kind of spirituality of it. Our... Our tour guide was amazing, and honestly, this was probably my favorite tour that we booked. We made it to the Trevi Fountain. 
fountain. It's really loud and there are a lot of people, but it's actually way bigger in person than I expected. Did you throw two of them in? One for both of us. Oh, you threw mine in? Yes. Okay. That counts. At many of the touristy places in Rome, there are people who will take your Polaroids and then sell them to you for $5. I finally agreed to have one taken at the Trevi Fountain, which I don't regret, but it was funny because I told him, okay, fine, one picture for five euros, that's fine. And then he took two pictures and charged 10 euros. So, yeah, I guess, kind of funny. What do you think of the Trevi Fountain? It's beautiful. It's not as big as the Pantheon. Wait, are you saying you think the Pantheon's cooler? Leave a comment below. No, what's your thought? Uh, wait till we go inside. We walked back to the Pantheon after going to the Trevi Fountain, and they were out of tickets for the day, so again, I guess I would recommend getting your tickets ahead of time. Today is our last full day in Rome on our honeymoon. And we're definitely out of clean clothes. <laughs> And I don't know, our plan today I think is just to wander around again. Um, we have a little bit of a goal in mind. I think maybe we'll hit this market area that somebody told us last night is really cool. I would like to maybe rent the bikes or scooters that are kind of sitting around town and take those down by the river. Um, Corey wants to get another one of the rice ball thingies that we've been snacking on and kind of just hang out. We stayed up late last night and we had really, really good food. So we slept in. Tomorrow we fly to Iceland and then we have 24 hours in Iceland next. On a scooter. Oh, there's another scooter. Should we get the other scooter? You want your own? Yeah, they good. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and use this bike. We were both riding on there, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> so we're gonna try and each have our own thing. What happened? No more juice. No more juice, we're pretty far away. Got to ride all the way back. Go tandem. <laughs>